guys doing some other really good stuff for you off the bench, but who do you look for to, to get some, some scoring off the bench? Um, yeah, it's, it's a good question. He's allowed to bank a few more uh, if he wants to, but uh, it's a good question. I think it's, um, I, I do, it's, would, is it a concern? You could say it's a concern. I think, uh, I think it is, although we did co just come from a game where we did have a lot of bench production, both defensively and offensively. But um, I do think it's a bit of a concern uh, for us moving forward. Um, I think we always kind of went into this looking and questioning, okay, um, how, how deep were we going to be in some areas? Um, but I think it's our job as coaches to continue to try to give those guys confidence, um, uh, to help them understand how they can help us play and play effectively. And uh, we're not going to go away from them as long as, they're, as long as they're trying to play the way we want them to play. Um, and I do think there'll be moments, hopefully, where in games where they give us, you know, a good offensive lift. I do think if they did help defensively in that particular game, I can point to uh, three or four guys that gave us a real – well, all of them gave us a lift defensively, which was good. And you sort of hinted at this, I guess, a couple of times now. Uh, Andrew not shooting uh, it has nothing to do with you guys telling him not to shoot, right? It's, he, you want him to shoot, and he's not doing it enough. Well, I think, yeah, I think um, that's just kind of who he is. But uh, uh, we play smart coaches and smart uh, game planners, and sooner or later, um, he, he's a capable shooter. He, he is a definitely a capable shooter. I think sooner or later, he's he's going to need to step up and and make take what the defense gives him um, and be ready to shoot the ball, and he, and he will be. Um, there's no question he will be. I think that uh, that's just kind of who he is. You know, he's he's just that's one of the things he's been really effective for us. He wants to get his teammates involved. He wants the Buck guys to win, and he's not real concerned about anything else. I talked about not changing much for you guys. And but do you get the sense that this win and what you've done this whole season will change the perception of your opponents maybe towards you guys? put a little bit more of a target on your guys' back. Sure. Yeah. I, I think there's I, I think that that's <clears throat> that's the definite re, uh, reality of uh, probably being as early as it is um, probably being in the position that, that we're in. Uh, there's no question that, uh, uh, that that's just reality. That, that teams are going to come with a different edge um, right now. And um, you know um, that's just the kind of the kind of man. It's, it's like in scheduling. Um, we we've gotten a lot of calls in the off season about scheduling. A lot of people want to play us um, before the season. And, you know <laughs> that's you know it's it's about perception. Perception changes, and uh, uh, just like in league play, perception changes a little bit. And I think you have to be ready for what you're going to face. And we'll see if we are. We'll see if we're, we're good enough to manage that. Do you do anything to get them more? I mean, I don't know if you change anything like you said, but do you let them know that maybe there's that full side? Yeah, I think you try to make them aware that there will be a different approach. Um, you know, it's not like, right, it's not like we're, uh, we're, we're national ranked, we got a number one by our name, uh, but I think, um, you know, that I think you do make them make them aware that it's going to be it's going to be different. It's going to feel different, and um, you hope that your older guys can, um, you know, can communicate that. But I sh that's just the reality. I think it's true. You know, obviously every team has its own personality. Um, have you been around this team long enough to know the kind of approach you need to have to get their minds right after a big win going into Maryland, or is it still too soon? Yeah, I think I. I um, you know, I think it just remains to be seen. I, I don't, you know, we, we had, we had, we met yesterday and, and talked about some things and, um, but I think it remains to see, to be seen in our approach, you know, cause obviously we, uh, we've had some really good wins and I thought, you know, after, uh, you know, Wisconsin, we, we prepared well for, for Michigan, but we also, you know, didn't play well in the first half. Um, Michigan had something to do with that, but we didn't play well. So I think you're always on alert as a coach as to kind of where the mindset of your guys are. But I just think, 
you know, our, our guys recognize too that, um, you, you know, it's not like every people, I think people still have legitimate questions about this group and, and we've got to try to answer them. And um, I don't get the sense that anyone's full of themselves right now. Um, I really don't. You know, we'll see, normally you see that in your work, in your day-to-day -day work. And, you know, we'll see if I see that, but I, I don't get that sense right now. Two more, Jerry. Hey, Chris, uh, looking at this today, you're the only team in the league averaging more than 80 a game. And, you know, it takes time when you come into a program yeah. to get people to understand your system, understand the philosophies. Are you surprised that this team is scoring at that level? Yes. Um, I've been probably more, uh, yeah, surprised both with our scoring and our efficiency, uh, probably in league play as much as anything. Uh, you know, some of that, I do, again, think the, the small sample size of four games because we had a little bit of a, a game against Wisconsin where you have maybe one in every, you know, five years where you make everything you shoot. Um, and that can skew the statistics a little bit. Um, which I think it probably did, to be quite honest with you. But, uh, you know, I think if we're halfway into the season and we continue to have these offensive numbers, that will be a pleasant surprise. I think that's going to be hard for us to do. Um, but that would, be, that would be a pleasant surprise. But uh, so far, our efficiency has been good and our turnover percentage in league play has been much better uh, than what it was earlier. So hopefully those are things we're making strides in. One more thing along statistics. When uh, you look at the last like, seven games, CJ has really cut down his turnovers and camp shooting the ball a lot better. How, how important has, have those two things been for the recent success you guys have had? Really critical. And I think completely, uh, almost completely tied in to our, our offensive efficiency and offensive production is CJ taking, taking better care of the ball and then shooting it at the level he's shooting it at. And then Cam really uh, staying aggressive and um, and being ready to, to, to shoot the ball and make shots. He's playing with a lot of confidence right now. So I think those two things have elevated our, our offense for sure. As a staff, do you guys care about individual plus minus? Is that a stat you guys track? And is that, does that tell you anything about a player? No, yeah, good question. Um, you know, kind of the godfather when it comes to analytics for me is, is Pomeroy. Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't take much credence in the plus minus, um, then I'll kind of I'll, I'll agree with him on that. Um, I, I think maybe over the course of an entire season or a, a 20 plus game stretch, maybe you can see some trends and tendencies. But um, your plus minus would be good if you were out there with LeBron. Right. <laughs> so right. there's so many factors. Um, I, I don't know your game. <laughs> I'm I get, guessing. I get hit from the corner. Okay, then, then you probably would be good there, okay? Because um, he needs spacers. Um, but yeah, I, I think I think it's it's skewed in so many ways. So I, I don't take a whole lot into that. Maybe at the end of the year we'll look at it, or twenty game season we'll look at it.